So last night, LeBron single-handedly beat the Celtics with help of Jeff Green. And the Cavs are moving on to the NBA Finals, so that's going to spark today's Boston Celtics rebuild. Because we're going to be doing the teams that do get eliminated here in the Conference Finals as rebuild. So yeah, uh, you guys are going to be seeing this probably at like 6 o'clock Eastern today and in a couple hours. I might be doing a Warriors rebuild tomorrow. I never thought I would say that, but we might do a Warriors rebuild because they don't win at all. But if Chris Paul's not playing, which it looks like it's not, I doubt the Warriors win. Even though they're on the road, I just don't think it. But yeah, we are going to be doing a Celtics rebuild as like sparked of them losing last night, even though they're in a great position. And yeah, like I said, we're either going to be doing a Warriors re rebuild tomorrow or a Rockets rebuild tomorrow. So just yet, yeah, smash the like button if you guys enjoyed today's uh, double upload. I did double upload today with an NBA talk video where I gave you five NBA stars that I think should be traded in the offseason, this coming offseason. Uh, that video came out a couple hours ago, so go check that out if you did miss it. So the Warriors beat the Cavs, which I think would happen in real life. So here we go. Not talking about the Warriors, Cavs, Rockets. We got the Celtics. So realistically, right, the Celtics disappointed their fans well i mean they didn't disappoint them but they let them down in what may 27th as a knicks fan i got let down in the middle of february and i knew we were making the playoffs so who's the real loser here i mean like we both ended up not winning at all and we just, and one fan base just knew it quicker i didn't have to live through false hope i'm just playing i i know i would 10 times rather be a celtics fan for the position they're in right now than the knicks because the Knicks are not in a good position. But I'm not talking about the Knicks. So Boston, you literally made it almost to the NBA Finals without your two best players hurt. Yes, if Hayward and Kyrie were both fully healthy for this year, Jalen Brown might not have broke out. Jason Tatum might have not have had that rookie year. Uh, they're this great of a rookie year. Terry Rozier would have never broke out. But Terry Rozier, 0-10 man in that um in the Game 7. That probably wash you a big contract next year. But uh, he'll be, I don't know. Some team maybe still will pull a trigger to trade for him in the offseason. And, yeah, so we got Brad Stevens. I think he's the second best coach in the NBA, and he'll be the best in a year or two, and maybe Pop. I mean, you can't really regress as a coach, but Popovich, whenever he decides to hang it up, uh, Brad Stevens will definitely be the best. People might already say Brad Stevens is better than Popovich, and I just think my Knicks bias is holding me against from saying that, but if you want to say that, I'm not going to argue with you too much on that. So, Al Horford, I mean, you're good at all, but this is 2K. I would like to maybe, if I could pull off an MB trade for Al Horford, that'd be kind of dope. Uh, but we have Gordon Hayward, obviously, and Kyrie. Like, I never keep Gordon Hayward. I would like to rock with him. But, like, okay, so what we're going to do is, yeah, this will be the starting five next year. It's going to be Kyrie at the one, Jalen Brown at the two, uh, Gordon Hayward at the three, Tatum at the four, and Al Horford at the five. Now, Marcus Smart is a free agent. Rozier will be a free agent next year. Monroe is a free agent. Morris is not. Baines is a free agent. So we'll see what we want to do. And we're also going to have the Kings pick next year, which is going to be clutch. Actually, is like Dirk Nowitzki here to sign as an assistant coach. Um, I don't know any of these assistant coaches. Eh, we'll get Paul Pierce. I feel like that's a Celtic. You know what? There's the connection there. Former Celtic, obviously. So we'll get him as their assistant coach. And there we go. We signed him. Even though I hate Paul Pierce. With a burning passion, him and KG kind of just ruined my... My early Knicks uh, f uh, fandom. Okay, so, I mean, we could trade Horford. Like, I, I, my goal is this. I don't want to trade Gordon Hayward. I want to roll with Gordon Hayward because I never do. Al Horford would be an interesting pickup, but we need a center. So, we would have to trade Hayward for a center. We could get Gobert, but I want to get, like, a top-tier center. Like, I want either Embiid, Cat, or Cousins. But, unfortunately, it's not going to be happening. So, uh, with at least Towns or Cousins because they're impossible to trade for. Joel Embiid... Only two, three and a half stars. We'll give you not Gordon Hayward. What am I doing? Al Horford. Oh my God, they have the same stars. Okay, this could be a lot easier than I thought. So we'll give you that. I would like... Okay, our first this year. I would like to... Actually, no, not our first this year. I would like to keep the Kings pick. So can we do the Grizzlies pick? Okay. And let's do the Clippers pick. Okay. Now, what player could I throw in? Does Samuel Ojihe have a... And I'll throw in a future Celtics pick. Oh my god, we just picked up Joel Embiid. Let's go! I'm happy now we picked up Joel Embiid. So we have a Joel Embiid. Uh, Tatum will be, be playing the four. I don't think if I move him to power forward, yeah, he goes down by four. And Gordon Hayward goes down five overall. So we're just going to place him there. We just picked up Joel Embiid, and we'll have a top pick next year. I'm going to just make my draft pick here at 27, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I take. Okay, guys, so at rookie signings, Robert Williams filled me at 27. So even if he's a G League guy, he's still going to be pretty solid to throw in that um, in the G League, and he could be uh, definitely a good bench player next year. So Marcus Smart, I mean, this isn't a realistic rebuild. I might just bring back Marcus Smart because, like, it's not like I care about 
about his contract too much because this video won't go as long as I think Jalen Brown will be a free agent or at least Jason Tatum to say the least. Yes, Kyrie's going to need a new contract next year. But, like, I think I might just bring back, back Marcus Smart for the bench. I mean, whatever team throws, like, I know there's going to be a dumb team that's going to overpay him in the offseason. And, and just Atlanta makes me think they're going to do it. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a team is just going to throw 19, 18 million at this guy because he can play freaking defense, but he can't shoot to save his life. I would give him no more than 12 mil. If you want to say you value defense that much to give him 12 mil, that's like okay with me. If it's not going to affect your cap too much, like you have that money to spend and that's a big need is defense. Yeah, you, you could throw 12 mil at Marcus Smart. You look at what Lou Will just got, 8 mil annually. I would say that's like a good range to have, like a good medium. And if you want to go 12 mil, pay that extra 4 mil for defense, even though he can't play offense. So be it. Give him that, give him that 12 mil and I wouldn't go more than that. So he has a $6 million qualifying offer. What overall pick was he? Was he 5 or 6? Uh, I don't remember. He was 6 in 2014. Okay, so he's obviously restricted. Baines, uh, Monroe. I honestly... Hmm. Okay, so we obviously have Kyrie Rozier, uh, Brown, Hayward Tatum Morris. So that's what? 5, 6 players that need to play. Uh, we don't have a power forward. Uh, 7, Embiid. I guess 8 will be smart. And then we just got to sign... Uh, I guess Greg Monroe back, honestly. I guess he'll be playing, like, he'll get 10 minutes tonight. So, we'll give Monroe 5 mil. Baines will outwalk. Jabari Bird will outwalk. So, uh, we'll read out some rights on Baines. Uh, Larkin, Bird, Kadeem Allen. We do get Monroe. We do also have an $8 million mid-level exception, which I could have maybe used on somebody better than Greg Monroe. But Marcus Smart looks like he's about to get paid from the Hawks. The Hawks, I'm telling you. They could be somebody that would throw maybe money at him. Uh, okay, can we get Will Barton? I mean, now nah, we would need a backup big man, honestly. And there's really nobody to use the mid level exception on. I really don't know if I want Alex Len over Greg Monroe. It's not like a huge upgrade. So I'll just see you guys at uh, training camps. All right, guys, so training camps. What's an untapped potential to Tatum and Brown? Just maybe that'll help out their overalls this year. And then we'll send, hmm, we'll just send, honestly, perimeter defense to Gordon Hayward. Get his defense up and yeah we're really good because uh Kyrie I mean I could have sent perimeter to Kyrie we really don't need to upgrade anything on bead dude's a beast at everything as it is all right so we are going to be starting Tatum Robert Williams you're going to be in the G League this year uh we got Jalen Brown starting and then we got Smart we got Rozier we got Morris and then we got Monroe getting 10 minutes Morris you're going to get 16 Rozier you can get 21 we'll give 25 to Smart 32 can we do 33 to everybody in the starting five Come on, can we do 33? We can, okay. And um, let's do 34 to Kyrie. Let's do 34 to Embiid. And we'll do 34 to Hayward uh, just for this year. And then let me just quickly send Robert Williams to the G League and we'll see how good we do this year. So that will be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I would kind of just like to win three titles in a row or two titles in a row with this team and not have to worry about losing. But let's see how it goes. To get kind of pace the Celtics. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Okay, we're finishing up the 2018-2019 season, and I'm sure we, I think we started off the season six and twelve. N reminder: injuries aren't on. 2K just absolutely hates the Celtics. I don't know why. I don't. I know. I think one of the creators is a big Bulls fan, and that's why the Bulls usually do pretty well sometimes in this. But the Celtics just never do that well unless you build like a, unless you control them. Like they never usually win at all unless you control them. Like I never usually just see them win in simulation when I'm like a different team that doesn't make it to the playoffs or doesn't win at all. So we might top 50 wins. We would have to win out here against Cleveland at home and then Philly on the road, which will be tough. We lost by eight. So we get the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. LeBron wins MVP. I wish they updated this where he maybe weaves a lot more. Embiid wins Defensive Player of the Year. Okay, okay, Embiid. Four assists, too. That's scary. 2.8 blocks. And he cut down less than two turnovers. Oh, my God. That's actually really good. And will we get anybody in an All-NBA first team? We do get Embiid. All-NBA second team. Kyrie? No. No Kyrie. We do get Embiid in All-Defensive first team. Obviously, one Defensive Player of the Year. And, yeah, nobody else. Okay. So... Uh, standings, we are taking on this Sixers in round one. Basically, this is going to be a big rivalry for years to come. And it's the Al Horford Sixers, too. So, that's very interesting. Stats-wise, Kyrie dropped 19 a game. Six and a half assists. There's Embiid's numbers. Hayward, 18 points is kind of like the best I've seen when I use him. I usually... He usually tops off at like 16 and a half. So, I'll take that. Brown, 12. 11 for Tatum. That's it. Uh, 8 for Smart. 8 for Rozier. Uh, 7 for Marcus Morris. 4.8 for Monroe. And Dice barely played. So, team stats... We got 7th in points per game and a lot of points per game. Okay, so we were about, what, 
10, 11th, I think. And point differential, we were 7th. So, come on. We should win it all this year. Like, we have the... the I'm pretty sure they're the second best team in the league behind the Warriors. But, let's see what we can do. Game 1, Jalen Brown led the team in points. Okay, well, we lost this game. Come on, just don't lose to Philly. 2-1, 2-2. Just don't go down 3-2. Of course. Are you kidding me? How does this team right here get a first round exit? Please inform me, 2K. How? How, Sway? I don't get it. I don't get it one bit. It makes no sense. Oh my god, the Bulls make it farther than the further than the freaking Celtics do. How, Sway? All right, well, we have the Kings pick, so let's see what it brings us here in the lottery. We, oh, it's six. Okay, and it turns into six. All right, I might get a lot of hate for this. Uh, actually, I don't even know if I'm going to try this. I was thinking I'm going to trade freaking uh, Jason Tatum for Porzingis just to upgrade a power forward. And honestly, I might try it. I, I might just see what it could do. I know uh, this will piss off some Celtics fans, but say we did Jason Tatum. I was going to say we could do Jason Tatum in the sixth pick, but of course he's not even under contract. Could we do Marcus Smart in the sixth pick for Porzingis and every other first round pick I freaking own plus a second God damn it. If we had the first pick, maybe this would work out. Uh, and take Robert Williams. That is a lot. Ugh, okay, so they didn't even accept it. I mean, it's impossible to trade for Anthony Davis in this game, unfortunately. What about, like, Nikola Jokic? Could we trade for him? Marcus Smart and the sixth pick. Plus, goddamn, three first-round picks I'm never going to need because we're going to be very good. Okay, and I will give you um, Greg Monroe. God damn it. Okay. So, there's really nobody else that I would think is a king's price of power forward. I mean, we could get Draymond, but I don't want to. We could get uh, Kevin Love. I mean, I wish it was easier to get Simmons in this game, but it's just not. So, the sixth pick. Um, uh, let's just, we might as well just trade up. So, let's trade Greg Monroe in the sixth pick and the 22nd pick and see if we can move up to like four or three. So, Greg Monroe. And I bet you we can move up to three, honestly. I'll try to. They, they agreed that. Wow, okay. I'll see you guys at Rookie Signs with who I drafted. All right, guys. So, I did take Cameron Reddish at pick two. So, now we have four small forwards on the roster. Hayward, Morris, Tatum, and now Reddish. That's a lot. And technically, you can consider Jalen Brown one, possibly. So, obviously, our number one priority is to bring back Mr. Kyrie Irving in free agency. Rozier is our second priority, but obviously, number one is Kyrie Irving, who does have an offer from the Chicago Bulls. Okay. No, thank you. We're going to bring you back. And Rozier, honestly, let's just give you 11 mil a year. So we get both of them. Dope. And I don't have to worry about anything left in free agency. So let me see. Uh, Towns is here. But Towns probably went back to his team, right? Yeah. They, they brought both their guys back. See, like, nobody switched teams up enough. Like, everybody went back to their former team. That's kind of boring. Besides, Dwight Howard went to Dallas. Where did Paul Millsap go? Did I say the Pacers? Paul Millsap went to the... No, he went back to the Nuggets. Literally, everyone goes back to their teams. They're so boring. All right, so let's see. Do I want to make any trades? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine good players, ten good players. So we can maybe trade to upgrade. So what could I get from Marcus Morris and maybe Jalen Brown? Could we get like a stud shooting guard? I mean, we really can only spend nine mil here. Um, or or okay, let's do this. So she, uh, let's do Marcus Smart and Marcus Morris. The Marcuses. We're, we're, we don't like Marcus. We don't like that first name, so we're trading them. So, if I can get a stud shooting guard and then Jalen Brown would go off the bench, that would be kind of filthy of his team. So, hmm. Not like a stud shooting guard I'm getting offered right now. Like, Middleton's the best guy. What is the best guy I could get? Could I get Oladipo for Smart and Marcus Morris plus a first round pick in the next two years? Three years? And a second? Damn it, okay. Uh, Brad, uh, Devin Booker would be cool. I feel like I haven't gotten Devin Booker in a minute. So, Smart, Morris, and a first, and a second for Devin Booker. And two second, or two first. Oh my god, three first. There we go, we pick up Devin Booker. I'm going all in on this year, boys. So, we have Kyrie Rozier, we have Booker Brown, Hayward Tatum Reddish, Williams, and Embiid. Let's do this, I'll see you guys at training camp. Alright, so my goal would be Jason Tatum and Devin Booker, both hitting 90s. Uh, so we can get a starting lineup full of 90s and then obviously Hayward hitting it and then let's send Cameron Reddish so he can maybe be in the 80s. So I think definitely in these next coming days I do want to do a challenge rebuild where every player has to be above 80 overall. I really like those challenges. They're really fun to do. 
So, that be on the lookout for that. Probably not tomorrow since I'll be doing a Rockets Warriors whatever one rebuild tomorrow. And then I will be doing probably that on Wednesday, I think. So, yeah. Uh, we got Irving, Booker, Hayward, uh, Tatum, Embiid, Robert Williams. You're going to get like... Uh, you're going to actually get 10 minutes a night. Uh, 16 for Reddish. Zero for Mike James, the 30-year-old rookie. Um, yeah, he's played one year and he's freaking 29. Uh, it's not as bad as Andre Agram if, if we're looking at the bright side for you, Mike James. So, Brown, you're going to be the sixth man at 26 minutes a night. Rosier, you can get 20. 33 to everybody in the starting five. Can we do that? Uh, we can. Let's do 34 there. 34 to Hayward. And 34 to Embiid. So, that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Please! Can we, like, make it past the first round? It's freaking stupid that we didn't last year. Hopefully, we can this year. 0-1 start. Great. Watch us go 0-2. All right, guys. So, we go 47-35. and 35. Where is the goddamn respect we need? Joel Embiid wins defensive player of the year. I mean, we better be just, like, uh, uh... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know why 2K is just hating on us right now. But Embiid wins all the first team. It's like we have to overcome not the other teams in the league. We have to overcome 2K simulation. Embiid all defense the first team. Um, did Robert Williams get all rookie second team? He did not. Okay. Did Cameron Reddish? Wow, we had no rookies. Okay, that's interesting. So, we are taking on the Cavs in round one against LeBron. Wonderful. Let's do this. Who did they draft with their first round pick? Uh, clearly not a starter. They brought back Chris Bosh. They drafted Shy Gilgis. Or Gilgis, I think it is. So, here are the stats. We had 317 points a game. That's the Hayward I know and love in 2K. Well, not really love, but no. T there's Tatum, Brown, Reddish, Rozier, and Robert Williams. Oh, my God. Okay. There's just too many good players on this team, to be honest with you. Um, okay. So, we were all right. 3.8, uh, differential, which is eighth best. All right. Can we just make it out of the first round, please? Game one, we win by 20... 21, we dropped 133. Okay, here we're at 10 assists. Game two, we win. Let's go. Go up 3 0, and it's over. Let's go. No way we blow a 3 0. We really? Really? If we did, I was. Yes! I was going to bug out, but we're taking on the Pacers. Let's go. We don't have to face the 76ers. So this Pacers team's got Oladipo, Turner, Trayvon Duval, Demontis Sabonis, Craig Monroe, uh, Jared Vanderbilt, TJ Leaf, Marshawn Brooks, uh, former good net. No. I think it's. Yeah, just doesn't have his stats in, I guess. Uh, they did trade or sign Winslow. All right. I almost traded for Oladipo, but we went Devin Booker instead. We should beat this team, but knowing 2K, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. We somehow win 47 games in the regular season. In our first two series, we go up 3-0. So can we sweep them or gentlemen sweep cool with me? Take it on Milwaukee. Have they added anybody? Jeff Green, Jermichael Green, and DJ Wilson. Okay. Game one. We win. Let's go. Devin Booker drops 33, game two. We win. Okay. Why were we bad during the regular season? Kyrie had 17 assists, and we're up 3-0. How the hell did we win 47 games if we were really just going to march to the finals and we're taking on the Pelicans? What? Okay. Did they trade Drew Holiday for, like, a big center? No. Uh, they have Justin Holiday. Who did they trade Drew Holiday for? Who was it? Why can't I figure it out? Was it for... What? Please tell me it wasn't for Evan Fournier. Please tell me. Oh my god, Pat Bev and Drew Holiday for Braxton Key and, and or Evan Fournier and Patrick Beverly for Drew Holiday and Braxton Key. Oh my god, okay, so we're gonna win the finals this year. I don't think we lose to this Pelicans team one bit. Game one, we do win by two. Kyrie drops 29 and beat 18 and 19. Yeah, we're, there's no way they they beat us. There's no way this team beats us. I just don't see a world where they beat us. And yeah, we get kind of lucky uh, winning these two games by, like... By a hair, but can we win in New Orleans? If we win in New Orleans, we should win this, but we don't. Okay, so it's 2-1. We haven't had a 2-1 series in a while. Back till... We haven't had one yet, actually, in these playoffs. We've never had a 2-2 either, so we don't know what it's like to have a competitive series. What is this? What is this stat line from everyone? Oh, I want to throw up. All right, 2-2, heading back to Boston. Come on, let's do something here. I mean, the first two games we won in Boston were close, and we're down 3-2. to two. How? How are we down 3-2? to two? I guess I gotta get a traditional power forward, because clearly Tatum is just getting bodied. I'm guessing that's the only thing I can see that's what's wrong with this team. Can we win in New Orleans, please? Okay, we're up by 3. Up by... Oh my god, please just win this game. Thank you. Game 7 in Boston. Let's do this. Let's do this. At least we're having an interesting final, so it's not a sweep. I'm cool with this. Just let it be close, or we win. Okay, we're down by 5 in the 4th. Down by 6. Down by 7. We cut that. Wait, uh, I'm hopping in. All right, I'll see you guys with like 
three minutes, two minutes, and 30 seconds left in the game. I don't want to show you too much gameplay because I don't want to bore or uh, prolong this video to be another 43 minute video like yesterday's Raptors rebuild. Actually, screw it. We're going to play for a little bit. Also, people like uh, question me if I'm on Hall of Fame. I'm not. Uh, I'll say that now. I'm on uh, Superstar. I've been on Superstar for probably a couple months now. Uh, but yeah, so we got to get our subs in because currently Gordon Hayward is playing some center. Yep, we need a timeout. I can't believe, like, we're actually not going to win this, or it's going to be very tough to win. But, yeah, we got our starters in. I don't use Tatum a lot, so I'm actually happy to kind of use Tatum. So, let's uh, run a play for Devin Booker if he gets open. I don't know. I think that's 48 guarding him, so he should have an open three here. Just, I got to get his release down, and he should knock this down. Uh, yes, let's go. He knocks it down. That's a clutch three. Six-point game. Two-possession game. All right, the Pelicans has made six more threes than us. Tatum is currently guarding Anthony Davis. I really don't know if we should put Robert Williams out here. Honestly, it's a smart idea, but I kind of want to... Oh, good defense. And that's going to go in, isn't it? I hate that animation. It always goes in when they do that. All right. Screw it. Kyrie. Ooh, Tatum's open. Tatum. Don't get blocked. Okay, there we go. Tatum's got a quick 20 uh, piece right now. No, I don't know why I said quick. Nice 20 piece. That's what I should have said. All right. So when Anthony Davis gets guard, it's it sucks because they can all shoot threes on this team. Besides, like, Patrick Bamboo, their point guard, is their worst three-point shooter. So, you know what? Miritich, I'm going to double-team him a little bit. But see, like, I can't leave him open like that. And, wow, that's a lucky miss, but Anthony Davis just... Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Tatum. I really want to use you, but we have to put in Robert Williams, man. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. Just you... I don't trust you on Anthony Davis, man. It's just another beast. We have to get a better defender out of here. So, Robert Williams, uh, he's got A-paint, minus A block. Obviously, he's taller, and he's a better defender, so... Uh, I really wanted to use Tatum, but it's for the best of this team, I know. So, Kyrie on Beverly. It's one of the best offensive point guards versus one of the best defensive point guards. Um, why won't my ISO thing come out? There we go. Okay. So, carry to the rack. Get fouled. Ooh, good switch and one. That's what I perfectly wanted. Let's go. It's going to be a five-point game if I do knock down this free throw knock on wood. And I do, which is dope. Okay, so five-point game. Two minutes and 30 seconds. We just need a stop. We haven't gotten a really a stop yet. We need a freaking stop. Robert Williams on Davis. I'm a little bit uh, less nervous now with this. Um, Patrick Beverly. I'm fine with him trying to, like, okay. Uh, no, Anthony Davis for three. No way that goes in. Oh my god, does this dude freaking miss in this game? He's so good. All right, Kyrie to the rack, and he's gonna get blocked. Oh no, he gets out to go. I'm just trying to court, uh, score quickly. It, it's just like we don't have a lot of time as it is. We only have two minutes left, and we're down by six. And literally everything Anthony Davis touches is gonna go in. So I guess our best hope is you know what? Put. Get, oh my god, Anthony. Oh my god, what? Okay, of course he makes every shot, but he drops an alley -oop. Like, what? Alright, Embiid on... <laughs> I'm not even gonna complain. I, I just, Embiid... Block that, Williams! Oh my god. Alright, I should rage... I honestly am surprised they did not rage a lot more with that freaking... Uh, could have made it, what, a four-point game? Could have literally made it... A... Can you roll? Thank you. Pass it, Embiid. There we go. Or what the hell is that? That's a dumb animation. Alright, if I make both free throws, it'll be a six-point game. God damn it, if Embiid... Uh, I should have probably kicked it out to Devin Booker for three. Please make your free throws. Okay, first one is what? I, I, I really... I'm probably going to have to run a three-point play for Hayward or Devin Booker on the next possession. Even Kyrie Irving, I'm cool with taking the three because his uh, release I'm pretty good at from what I remember. So, down by six here, a minute 30. We just need to stop. I'm um, honestly... Let's do it. Let's do Cousins and Embiid. Come on, Embiid. Good D. Let's go, baby. Kick it to Booker. Come on, Booker. Uh, what do I want to do here? Um, all right, Kyrie, let's get a screen. Uh, okay, there we go. Easy to the rack. And one, and one. Kyrie Irving, let's go. Who needs three pointers when you can do it the old fashioned way? And we should have a three point game. Kyrie's got 28 and 11, 29 and 11 now. Come on, baby, let's do this. We need a stop, though. We need a stop. See, give it to Cousins in the post on a beat. I'm cool with that. Just try to not do Anthony Davis. If they had, like, a crappy three-point shooter, I would double-team, but it's hard. Ugh. All right. Then beat on Cousins here. Nah, he's going to hit that. Oh, my God. He missed. Oh, my God. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'm going for a two. There's no way I'm going to settle for a three. Actually? Actually? Please, Devin Booker. For the love of God. Mm, that was such a good look, too. That was such a good look, Devin. All right, I'm, I'm very salty that he missed that three. It was a very good look to tie the game. Honestly, Tony Parker, you want to freaking score on me? Let it be you. All right, I'm actually kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. All right, I'm beat in the post. Let's do this. Oh, my God, MB. Let's go get the ball. All right, can you get a Kyrie? Um, uh, screw it. Uh, Gordon Hayward, take this ball. We're going to run a three-point play for Kyrie Irving if we have one, uh, which we do. Okay, 
Uh, Tony Parker's on here. Okay. Kyrie. Let's go! Let's freaking go, baby! I told you I knew it was released. I told you, guys. I told you. All right. Uh, just can we play defense? I'm Dude, Cousins can't score an Embiid, so I'm really cool with this. All right. Kyrie, just don't give it to Anthony Davis. That's the last person I want the ball right now. Um, okay. Why is Tatum in? Okay. Oh, my God. Cousins on Davis. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. That's a block. Get the ball. Oh, my God. Okay. Two seconds left. Watch this. Watch them just hit a game-winning shot. I'm ready. I'm fully ready. They just called timeout. Okay. That's cool with me. I'm going to get my best defensive lineup in. If, honestly, I might take Kyrie out if we have a better defensive point guard, which I don't know. Let's just see what our defensive lineup is. It would be, hmm... Robert Williams and Bede, Brown at shooting guard, Kyrie at point guard, Hayward at small forward. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we just basically take out Devin Booker. I forgot we had Jalen Brown. I completely forgot we had this dude. All right, so I'm not worried about a pass back. I'm just, whoever gets the ball, I'm going to guard with Hayward here. Just don't want to be in the paint. Oh my God. Jalen Brown, just no foul. Let's go, baby. Let's go. OT, game seven, NBA finals. Yeah, this is, uh, oh my God. Come on, please. We have to pull this out. We're at home in Boston, in the TD Garden. There's no way I'm going to play these five minutes right now. I'm going to simcast this. So I'll see you guys in simcast. All right, simcast, please treat me well. Let's do this slow. All right, we don't score first. And watch them go up by four. Uh, why can't we score? We haven't scored yet. Oh my God, we're down by three. Okay, down by one, two minutes, 30. Perfect, okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take out Tatum. We are going to put in Robert Williams. And honestly, uh, we'll put in, we'll keep Jalen Brown in over Devin Booker. Screw it. So Tatum for when you're in now, it's just, uh, I wanted to use Tatum a lot. Honestly, that's kind of what's, oh my God, Jalen. Why are you leaving 48 wide open, dude? Holy crap. Well, that, I don't even know if you were out of bounds there. All right. Well, Tony Parker's on freaking Kyrie Irving. So give me an ISO here. It's what, like a 27-year-old on a 30, like a 45-year-old? All right, screw it. Let's just get a pick. Tatum. Uh, okay, he's getting double teamed. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, I literally pressed. I was spamming the X button to pass it. If Tony Parker... Just strip it. Oh, my God. If he hits this, too. And we can't get the board. Oh, my God. We get a block. That was a foul. Jalen Brown, get the hell out of the game. Get the hell out of the game. I don't know, but you, you, you made 48 score that last two, so that made me mad. Cousins misses the first. Okay, ball don't lie, maybe. Ball don't lie. He misses the second ball. Definitely doesn't lie. Okay, maybe ball did lie. I don't know. All right, so we're down by five. So let's just get a two. A three would be obviously nice here. Uh, Devin, you up for the, the task? All right, let's see what you can do here. Fournier. Um, okay, we're actually going to switch this up. Hayward, please. I don't know your release too. Well, let's go, Gordon. Let's go. Let's go, Gordon. All right, two-point game, two-point game. We've been clutch with our threes. Oh, this is freaking scary. Um, I am not worried about Miritich. Honestly, I'm not really about Cousins that much. Okay, good D. Not much you can do there. It was really a good D. Uh, just 2K, you want to give me some of that luck? Honestly? All right. So let's run a pick and roll. Robert Williams cut. Okay, Tony Parker just turned into the freaking best defensive point guard in the league, I guess. I, I guess he really did. And, oh my god, Anthony D How does they keep getting the goddamn offensive rebounds? Come on! Oh my god, Anthony Davis misses a layup. Of course, get that steal. Thank you, give me that. Okay, Embiid, I don't know what you're doing right now, but kick it to Devin Booker. I was thinking about taking that three. All right, uh, we're down by four. We, we're gonna go for a two here. Uh, this is not good spacing. All right, if Tony Parker strips me again, I'm gonna get a cry. I'm gonna get a cry if he strips me again. Thank you. Finally, the pick and roll worked and won. That just added it to that. Okay. So it's going to be a one-point game. Robert Williams, please make your free throw. I have never taken a free throw with you, and that should be good. Let's go. Okay. All right. One-point game. 42 seconds left. This is going on so long. I'm sorry if you hate gameplay. This is going to be a gameplay game. Oh, give me that. Kyrie. Kyrie, just don't get... Okay. Or you could just drop the ball. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um, Kick it back to Kyrie. Here we go. All right. Oh, no, no. I got to get a two-for-one. I got to get a two-for-one. And be cut. Don't get stripped. Don't get stripped. Oh, my God. Robert Williams. You missed the fucking dunk. Holy crap! All right, you fouled Embiid. It's not the end of the world. But how do you miss a dunk, dude? All right, and please miss this one. Please just miss this one. Oh my god. Okay. Um, do I go for a three? Do I honestly go for a three here? Screw it. Kyrie Irving, get the ball to Gordon Hayward. Oh, I should have shot that. Uh, but I wanted to go to Kyrie. Kyrie, you're taking this game-winning three. Kyrie, Kyrie. Um, you're gonna be slightly open. Kick it out. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I don't want to hear anything in the comments. I do not want to hear anyone in the comments saying I'm not clutch. Let's freaking go. Alright, so it's, it, this is the video right here. This possession is the video. It's either we win or we lose. They're not getting one point unless we freaking fouled. Alright, defensive line up in. 
Four seconds left to go. Oh my god, Kyrie missed that. I think Robert Williams redeemed himself with that rebound. Alright. Um, there could be a pass back here. I'm just gonna make sure nobody's wide open. Okay. Okay. What is Miritich doing? Oh my god, if he hit that. If he hit that. Finally, I pull out a clutch in this. Six rings of clutch. Let's go, baby. And we win the NBA Finals. I just spent like the past 15 minutes playing this game. I'm so happy. I had a reason to play it and I just didn't do that for nothing and we won. Kyrie Irving, I love you, man. Oh my God, I can't believe we won that game. I really thought I lost it when Kyrie missed that three, but Robert Williams kick out to Kyrie. Reminds me of like the Ray Allen situation in uh, in the, the Miami Spurs game six game. But yeah, Boston wins it all. I'm so happy we see that. Joel Embiid's finals MVP screw it. It should be Kyrie Irving. But epic. Gordon and Hayward's hit big threes in that game. Devin Booker hit big threes. Embiid played some solid defense. I mean, they just didn't go to Anthony Davis that much as they did when we first started playing that game, which was kind of surprising. And they went more to Cousins. And yeah, we won it all. I don't care. I'm not complaining. Thank you all for watching. Just leave a like on the video for that game. Just drop a like if you did enjoy that gameplay right there. Tomorrow's re rebuild will be either a Rockets or Warriors rebuild. It'll be really weird if I did a Warriors rebuild, but hey, it could come if the Rockets do somehow pull out a win tonight. Don't think they will, but hey, if they do, that would be pretty cool. And yeah, so that'll be for me. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.